Hi there, Pisces. How are you? Welcome back to Magic Root Work of Love and Prosperity. I'm Aunt Roslyn from www.rootsofearth.net. Um, how are you today, Pisces? I know if you're tuning in, Pisces, you probably have some questions or some curiosity about the love triangle. Um, even if you're involved in one, I just want you to know it's not the end of everything. Uh, the reason why I started creating these readings was based on my clients' needs of finding out what they want to know, going further, finding out what is in the energy and the vibration, because I read energy and the cards as well, to find out what's going on in the relationship, you know, about that darker energy that can be around, you know, it's kind of a heavy depressive energy if you're going through a love triangle, you know, it takes a lot of energy, um, you feel like you're being affected on such a deep level, you know. Um, what I wanted to tell you also was that if you have not met me yet, uh, or you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, um, is that I work with a lot of shamanic energy, voodoo, root work, uh, channeling, I work with a lot of spirit guides and our ancestors to help us to, you know, just break through and have a better life, have the life that we imagine, you know, and I enjoy doing that. So I, I do appreciate all the readings and the orders. You can have your reading back within 24 hours, you know, one day. And with the other readings, you can have your reading back in three to seven days, okay? So I just wanted to make you aware of that. Also, you can look below and you can see some of the other things <clears throat> that I offer also, okay? So let's get started. Let's get started here. And see what's going on in the relationship energy of Pisces, the one that you're with. Um, okay, the moon. That's interesting to start it off with the relationship energy that you're in right now, Pisces. Okay, the moon, four of pentacles, the worlds, okay. Page of wands in the immediate past. Then we have temperance crowning you. That's good to have crowning you, Pisces. Okay. So what I'm able to see right now, uh, Pisces, is that you actually relationship, Pisces. Not only does that have something to do with you, because it's really a lot of watery kind of energy, like a water signs energy, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, but it also represents the fact that, you know, things are yet to be seen. There's something hidden. Okay, so possibly you may not be aware of, you know, who this other person may be. You may not know fully, you know, how long it's been going on. Or maybe you just don't know for sure that your partner is actually, you know, cheating or has someone else. Um Oh, I see. I noticed that the screen is moving just a little bit. I wanted to let you know, too, um, there's a lot of electromagnetic energy around when I'm doing these readings because I do work with a lot of spiritual energy. So my voice, it should not fade. But if you happen to see the screen jump, it might only last for a second or two. You know, I just wanted to say that um, also. Especially if they are, you know, whispering sweet nothings, you know, in your ear. And it does not have to be gender specific. This could be uh, male or female because we both actually have both uh, in, our, in our soul's energy. We have both masculine and feminine, okay? So right beneath that crossing you, Pisces, is the four of pentacles. So the moon being there, 
you know, front and center like that, representing the relationship. It can indicate, Pisces, not only a lot of watery, emotional kind of energy of the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. However, it also represents the fact that something is yet to be seen. It's yet to be seen. Something is still not showing up clearly. So if possibly your partner is, you know, strained, they have another woman, they have another man, it could be that you just don't know how long it's been going on. Possibly you've been doubting yourself, you know, and questioning, is it really true? You know, possibly they've been hiding it for a long time. Um, I'm, I keep getting there's a huge amount of deception going on. So Pisces, <clears throat> I'm not sure if it's you or if it's your partner cross-watching, you know, but I feel like this has been going on for a while, like it's a pattern, but it's been hidden really deep within. It could be hidden in your own consciousness because you really don't want to face it, you know. I also just wanted to say, I see the screen is blinking a little bit, and what happens when I'm doing these readings is there's so much... I'm sorry, you know, if the screen, but my voice, it probably won't cut out, you know, because my voice usually is very steady throughout the reading. The Four of Pentacles crossing that moon, it's all about someone holding on just so, so tightly. It's like I can hear someone say, I want the love I deserve. I want the love I deserve. It's almost like one person is like, you're bound to me. You know, you're bound to me. You're not leaving. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, I'm hearing it's like a soul energy, Pisces. You know, clinging, clinging, clinging. Possibly one of you is an earth sign also because that is the pinnacles representing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you know. But one of you definitely healing, Pisces. It's like one of you wants to heal this and you know it's on this deeper level. And the other person is more content with not sharing you know, putting this on a different level altogether. Um, the world card beneath this, this is so many years of wanting to explore. It's like you want to explore, you're ready to complete something, you're ready to complete a certain part of your relationship, you're ready to like end this and wrap up this part of your relationship. Possibly it's the other person that's like, you know, I'm done with this, you know, I'm, I'm ready to wrap this up, you know. The Page of Wands is here in the immediate past, which means something may have happened um, with a lot of creative energy, like a spark started and, you know, it was creative, it was good for the relationship, and it kind of fizzled out, you know, it's kind of an imbalance kind of thing where it fizzled out um, right above you crowning the relationship, Pisces. It's all about balance, you know, balance, balance, balance. You know, which you need that. You need the balance. You know, you have to have that. Um, it's almost like one of you is investing to try and get this balance back into the relationship, Pisces. Because if this is crowning you, this is very healing and very balancing. Possibly one of you has, say, being balanced again. In the immediate future, we have the King of Wands here. Now. This has, you know, really a dual purpose, really, because Pisces, you know, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this King of Wands energy is all about player energy because we're talking about a relationship and a love triangle, okay? This energy is like, you know, sexual. He could be having these hookups that are like, really quick, you know, like multiple affairs, multiple cheating, and it doesn't even bother this person, you know, that's typically ship and possible affairs with the king of wands, it's going to be some kind of really hot, hot, passionate male energy, and here we have the page of wands, okay, so that could be just confirming it, that sexual passion and heat. You know, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups here. This is all about male energy, 
that has turned his back or one of the person in this relationship, they've just turned their back. They're done with it, even though it's painful. You know, the Eight of Cups, it takes a lot of energy with the Eight of Cups because it's like they just been through so much emotionally. It could represent the water sign. This could be you, Pisces, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. So let's go further and see what's going on here with the third party. Light, can you tell us a little bit more, please, about Aquarius, the third party relationship, the other woman, the other man, the fifth wheel here? Can you tell us what's going on here? I'm also hearing Pisces. Like, you know, this moon is like someone needs to take the blinders off of their thoughts on this. You know, it's like they need to come to what's actually happening in this relationship. You know, when the person comes to, you know, coming out of this whole thing with not being aware and things being hidden. Okay, let's see. Okay, well... It could have been uh, a third party going on for a while. You know, like you're locked in, like you're in prison. You know, it's like emotional, mental. Those words represent your thoughts. So this could be going on for a while. Let's see. The devil. Yeah. So this is a lot of toxic energy. One of the, one of the parties involved here, Pisces. They're causing this kind of energy, you know. They're going to be brought to judgment. They're going to have to go through some kind of karma, some kind of past energy kind of healing. It's like something is being revisited here, you know, because judgment carries a lot of weight even to do with past. Okay, so this is happening to this person. They're probably going to need this person that is, you know, strain, messing around in the relationship. They need healing. Here's the Eight of Swords. Here's the Devil. Here's the Judgment card. It's something they're going to have to go Mental, you know, prison here. So much darkness and negativity. And then there's this, this addiction happening. The Devil is all about sexual addiction. I know you guys have heard me say it before. It's about sexual addiction, gambling, drinking, drugging. It's like this horrible third energy in a relationship it's toxic it has its own energy you know and it just kind of keeps going um here we have the seven of cups this make up their mind about the cheating you know this person may be cheating and then still not able to make up their mind so possibly pisces they're not cheating with just one person okay you've been feeling this Pisces because this is about broken hearted you know the divorce card this is what I call it because it's so much a broken hearted energy it's like the betrayal of the heart someone promised you something here's the tower energy you know it's like the foundation being broken apart so if your partner is strained and cheating this energy here it looks themselves it looks like they're full of toxic energy it looks like they're gonna have to I don't know I hate to use this word it looks like they're gonna have to pay for some of these things that they've been doing you know it, it just looks like they're brokenhearted they're not happy you're not happy it looks like they've had multiple women multiple men you know it's just not a good situation here and then have to make decisions that's what the two of swords you know in this relationship you're going to have to choose you're like at a stalemate pisces because you're not sure whether to leave or whether to go but exhaustion here you're going to have to decide something okay so let's go to just to get a little bit of you know guidance because Okay, uh, I know Pisces. That's a lot of heavy energy to digest. Can you give us, please, some guidance for Pisces? 
it's, you know, it's really rough having all that go on. Can you give us a little bit of guidance with Pisces? Let's see here. Well, on the bottom of the deck, it's new beginnings. New beginnings. So possibly this relationship is just going to end. Bottom of the deck. Throat chakra. Okay. So this is like Pisces, you need to speak up. You need to speak up and it'll clear up some of this where you don't know what to speak up. Hopefully you'll be more clear and the other person will be more clear movement choices and decisions so this really looks like uh pisces you're gonna have to make some decisions you know if you do talk it out a little bit you know with that throat chakra energy you'll at least know how to decide because you know it's, it looks like you're supposed to move on. movements choices decisions you know the next card is solar plexus chakra. This is your own inner strength and your own willpower. It's like that gut feeling you have, you know, that you need to do something. Okay. Okay. You know, some things for you. I know it won't hit 100% for each person. But um, if you do have any more questions or you'd like a personal reading, my information. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.